are just one day away from the much anticipated total eclipse. And Joy Benedict is live at Griffith Observatory, where many people are expected to show up tomorrow to watch the spectacular event, Joy. A lot of folks wondering about those glasses, though. That's right. The glasses are hard to get, especially hard to get for our school children in the schools, which is certainly tough to hear. But nonetheless, you want to be wearing some sort of a viewers or glasses or something to protect your eyes if you're going to look at the eclipse. This is going to be a great place to view it up here at the Griffith Observatory. You can bet thousands are going to be here. But unfortunately for folks over there on the ocean, as long as Marquina has been talking about today, it looks like they may be a little cloudy, so they're going to have to drive a little bit inland. But nonetheless, school children have been learning about this since school started last week. We're tracking the sun. Is that sun moving? No. What? Schools all across the Southland and of course really all across the United States have been talking about the eclipse since school started last Tuesday. A lot of science classes doing studies on shadows and where to stand and of course the eclipse as this is the first total eclipse in the United States in almost 40 years. It's when the moon obviously passes between the sun and the earth blocking the sun's light from reaching our planet. But believe it or not, those glasses are really hard to get a hold of and that means a lot of these school children are not going to be able to watch the eclipse tomorrow morning. In fact, a lot of school districts, including LAUSD, are alternating the times that kids go out to recess and changing when they're going to have lunch so that they're not even outside at all during the eclipse simply because they didn't have enough time to plan and those who did try to couldn't get a hold of enough glasses for the entire student body to be able to watch the eclipse safely. Now there were some very forward thinking science teachers and principals who went ahead and went out of their own pocket to buy those glasses for their classrooms. So there are select classes that are going to be able to watch the eclipse with parents permission of course but for the rest of them it's just not going to be an option. If you yourself would like to view the eclipse, the glasses are very important, or you can simply look down. The number one rule for safe eclipse viewing is don't improvise. If you don't know, don't chance it. It's not worth it. You really can damage your eyes. Basically, take two pieces of paper or any other cardboard, things like that. You make a pin in a piece of paper, you put the other piece of paper on the ground, and let the sun go through that little pinhole, and you can watch the different phases of the eclipse indirectly on that piece of paper on the ground. Now here at the Griffith Observatory, they do have some of those viewers for sale tomorrow. It's going to be on a first come, first serve basis, and they don't have a lot. So if you don't have them and you're coming down here thinking you can watch the eclipse and buy your glasses, it may be a little bit difficult. But again, they do have some that will be for sale here tomorrow. I think they're running about three dollars a piece. But Amy, for everybody else, we're just going to be looking down at our pieces of paper, I think, <laughs> to watch it or just staying inside. <laughs> Joy, I'm, I'm trying to I'll find my paper. No, no, no I'm, I've got my paper. I'm ready. I'm definitely ready. Thank you. Okay.